That's a very, very good question. You asked me to look down a crystal ball, and I really am stumped by that one. What I'm going to tell you is not me necessarily based on an assessment of the facts or studies or whatever have you, but I personally would think that probably it's going to be the mainstream web rather than apps and social media. There's no question about that. That's 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 what I think. Now that doesn't mean that I am, you know, um, not aware of the fact that mobile telephones have had a tremendous growth. But I think at the end of the day, for a lot of people, it's going to be a challenge to access the internet, you know, via mobile devices. Uh, there's no question about that for cost considerations and issues and things like that. And remember also that uh, for a lot of the developing world, access to the internet is through shared services, where you go to internet cafes, for instance, or where you go to an office, um, in thereby only access the internet when you get to work simply because you don't have a computer at home. So for people like that, of course with the restrictions many companies and government officials and the NGOs put on the use of their networks, they are going to be limited uh, in their ability to access a lot of the social networks and so are going to be almost relegated all, all the time to the mainstream web.